Hi parents, another strategy we're gonna be showing you for addition strategies is adding by place value, which is something we've been using here at school here recently, just identifying the place value in order for them to know what value is in each place. So we're gonna go through and walk through that as an addition strategy. So I've already written down the problem. I have 146 plus 235, and I'm gonna go ahead and separate that into expanded form so we can add that by place value. So I'm gonna take my 146 and I'm gonna say I have one in my hundred spot, so I know I only have 100 and I need to add my 10 spot next. So I'm gonna look at that and I have four. So I need to make sure that my student is writing this correctly and saying 40 rather than just four. That's where we have a lot of problems. And I wanna look at my one spot. I have six pieces in my one spot and there is no tens or hundreds to go with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that there. Now I need to move on and look at my next number that I'm adding. I'm going to add 235. So I'm gonna look at my hundreds. I have two hundreds. I have three tens. And I have five ones. Now I'm gonna add each one by place value in order to get my new answer. So I'm gonna start at my ones. We know that six plus five is 11. So we used to carry over but what I have my students do is if I have one extra, I'm gonna put my one extra, I wanna make sure they write 10 up here so they know they're not adding just one when they're adding, they're adding an extra 10. So I'm gonna add 10 plus 40 plus 30. So 10 plus 40 is 50 plus three is 80. So I'm gonna write my eight in my 10 spot. And now I'm gonna look at my hundreds. I have one plus two equals three. Ooh, that's a five, sorry. So my new answer is 381. And this is a really helpful strategy to use when they're having trouble carrying that one over like we used to do in school.